Hello and welcome to Workshop Projects. Today I'm going to talk about desoldering electrical components from circuit boards. There's a lot of components that can easily be used again if you desolder, like small switches and capacitors and other random components. I looked at these switches. I thought we could try and desolder them in this episode. These are the tools that I will use. Small pliers, a pointy tool, some solder wick, and this vacuum uh, gun that I don't know what it's called. And uh, set the temperature a little bit higher than when you solder, because the solder can be a little bit harder when it has uh, been on there for a while. First of all, let's locate the pins underneath. It's these three for one of uh, the switches that I will desolder. First I add some solder to the iron to get good contact and heat. Put the heat on the first pin and make sure it melts and then put this suction to yes then I add some more solder it's you need to add solder to the tip to get the heat onto the pin easily and suck and the third one, same procedure, heat it up and suck it off. So, I almost got it all uh, with the suction tool but I need to use the solder wick to get the last of the solder. Now I take this solder wick and I just hold it against the pin and take my soldering iron and press quite uh, hard and hold it there for a while and it sucks up you see and I keep doing that until I get it all off. It, ta it can take a while, depending how much solder it is from the beginning. It took about one minute to get all the solder off. And uh, if we look, there it is. It's almost completely clean. So now we should be able to, yeah, look it's loose, just put some, there we go, this is ready to be used again in another project. So this is how you desolder components from a circuit board. Please don't forget to subscribe and visit our page and uh, visit us on Facebook. See you again. Have a nice day.